Are you searching for a reliable Minecraft free hosting? Of course you are, who isn't searching for one? Well look no further than Slice Hosting, a new Minecraft free hosting for your Minecraft server. You won't want to miss this one, so let's get crafting. Now before we get started, there are a few things you need to know. First of all, this free hosting setup process is a lot different than other free hostings, but I'll walk you through it, so make sure you watch through the entire video. Slice hosting is not 24 seven, but it does have a really cool feature, which will start the server up when a player tries to join it and it's offline. It also won't stop if you have a player online. If you need support for your server or you have an issue, please don't ask me in the comments. Instead, join my Discord where I'll be able to help you a lot better than I would through the comments. You can also join the Slice Hosting Discord, which will be linked in the description as well. Now you are going to need a Discord account to sign up for Slice Hosting. I know that some parents are weird about having Discord, but they really should be concerned about you having Snapchat and TikTok because that's what really where all the bad stuff is. Make sure to subscribe or this tutorial won't work and let's get our free server set up and ready to play. All right, so the first thing you want to do is head to the first link in the description and it'll take you to this website. So we want to click on login with Discord. If you don't have a Discord account, then you'll need to make one. So here's my, my alt account. I, I'm, I don't have alt accounts, no I don't. Click authorize. All right, so now we just need to enter in our nickname. I will be Icky Sherman. And then my language, English. English and then my birthday. My I, I was born a long time ago. Oh my gosh, how long will it let me go back? Oh my gosh, dude, if it actually lets me enter that. Let, let's try that, let's try that. About, I'm so cool. Background, nah. Agree with the terms and conditions. You can go read those if you'd like and click begin the journey. It sure is a journey with this free hosting. Wow, that, that's cool, look at that. Click to begin your journey, so just click your mouse. Okay, so now that we are on the dash, we can go to create, to create our server. Create the server! And we want to enter in our server name. And then our server description, you don't have to set this. And then, there we go, that's all good. You don't need to edit that. We can select paper, and then whichever one you want. I'm going to go with Singapore. And then click deploy new server. Never mind, I guess we'll have to go with Frankfurt then. <laughs> Hit the dab! There we go, our server! Okay, so all you have to do is go back to the servers tab. And now, the next part is a little bit tricky, so make sure you watch. You want to click on your little profile picture and you'll want to click on your account. All right, so here's our information to log into the panel right here, our email and password. So what we want to do is head to the servers tab, leave this tab open if you can. And then we want to go here to our Minecraft server, click on these three dots, click on link. Okay, so here we are in the panel. What we want to do is go copy our email, paste it into the email section, go back, grab our password, copy that, and paste it in there and click log in. All right, so here's my funnest Minecraft SMP. Please join and give me lots of money. We can click on it. Okay, so now we can just click on start to start up our server. Now this is a little bit different than what you're probably used to. What you need to do is type MSH start. That'll start up your server. So you need to put MSH before any console commands. This is running on like different software than other Minecraft servers, but it still works. You just have to make sure you put MSH in front of everything. And there we go. Our server is up in 23 seconds. That's pretty good for the first time starting up. So you can mess around with some of these things. Like this is sub user. So if you want to like give somebody access to your server, then you can. You make databases. Who cares about databases? I do, I, I do. We can make schedules. I've literally never used this. We got this nerd stuff. But what we do need to change is our server.properties file just to make sure that we have the best possible settings. So look for enforce secure profile, set that to false. And if we'd like, we can also change our max players up a lot. If your simulation distance, if you don't want like so many entities rendered in, we can just like change this. <coughs> <coughs> down to five. If you don't want any vanilla spawn protection, you can set your spawn protection to zero. I recommend doing that. And if we want to make our view distance higher or lower, you can change that right there. And finally, if we want to allow crack players to join, we can change our online mode to false. I'm going to leave it on true because I have premium Minecraft, baby. I'm in the club of the free Minecraft. So there we are good to go. Now we can just click on save content or you can use the keyboard shortcut control S 
And now we just want to head back to our console and restart. Okay, now we just need to type msh start again because it doesn't let you restart, I guess. Okay, so our server has started up again. All we want to do is click on our address, copy that to our clipboard. So if you have friends you want to invite to your server, all you have to do is send them that little address and then they can like type it in their Minecraft, they're all good to go. I will show you how to join on Minecraft right now. Okay, so to join our server, what we can do is click on multiplayer, click on add server, paste your little IP in, control V, and then we can set the server name to whatever we want. So I'll just call mine, Minecraft is a fun sandbox game. Click done. Oh, if you don't set your server name to Minecraft is a fun sandbox game, then your server won't work. Okay, here we go. So we are inside of our free Minecraft server. We got cows, we have trees, dude. And we even got some shrooms. Oh, I need, I need to like smoke these, dude. Yeah, smoke the shrooms. So now that we got our server working, where does this fall on the craftometer? I give this a drum roll, please. Oh, I'm sorry. I give it a 9 out of 10 on the craftometer because it seems really powerful and has a lot of features, but navigating the panel can be a little bit difficult at times. But overall, I feel like it's a very pleasant experience. Well, congratulations. You survived all the way until the end of the video. Make sure to give me some likes. What would you do for a like? Feel free to join my Minecraft servers. We finally got Ruxer back up after a while, so make sure you come and join and have some fun. Okay, that's all I have for today, so I will see you on the other side. Happy crafting. Round and around and around and around. This is my life, sitting and watching these. While most kids hang out with friends, I watch a little, like, piece of a circle spin in circles for hours and days and months and years and millennia and decades